What's up, Fruitful Investors? I'm here with Dwight, and we're visiting one of his properties, his primary residence, actually, that he's renovating. This is a fantastic looking project. He actually has some interesting information to talk about when doing a large renovation. As you guys know, I do a lot of renovations. I just learned something I didn't really know. Can you tell us more about this? For sure. So, first off, I just want to start this by saying that I'm not. I'm not a perfect renovator. I'm not trying to be like, oh, no, look at me, no, I'm so perfect. Yeah. But it's unfortunate that a lot of the trades that have came in here have said that this is the first time they've ever seen this. Yeah. And the reason why is, as business owners, a lot of guys in the trades, it's hard for us to keep up with knowing the trade knowledge, plus running the business, and knowing all the politics and red yeah. tape that go with it. Plus having a personal life and family life. And exactly. Family. So this is one of the things, this is a requirement by the, um, the ministry. So anytime, one of the major stipulations for the, having this is if your project is going to be $50,000 or more. That's yeah. one of the main stipulations. Yeah. And you know how it yeah. goes so I want to make that very clear. When you have a job that's more than $50,000, which is super easy, that's like a kitchen and a living room, and you're pretty much over 50 grand, you must have this set up. So it's exactly. pretty crazy. So even if you are a homeowner and say you're managing all the trades, yeah doesn't matter you still become the constructor yeah or the the main the contractor, contractor the GC yeah. so yeah. you do have to know about this stuff so some of the main requirements are you have to have this WSIB form uh, you have to have a sign in and sign out sheet uh, there's a notice of project form that has to be filled out it's all this stuff is really easy if you just google yeah. NOP notice project a lot of this stuff is going to come up and then uh, it's pretty messy right now but uh, I have hard hats um, first aid kit there's an eyewash station on the side. And then another thing I do as well is I have binders for all my trades. So this, for example, is a binder for uh, my plumber. And then it has each room broken down and it has all of the various um, spec sheets that he would need. So I like to keep all of that stuff in one place. Um, it says like the building code and stuff, just as a reference. Just to make basically all the trades guys and trades women yeah. to make their life a lot easier. So that's really interesting stuff. I pride myself as a pretty organized investor and business person. You are super organized and right on top of it, so that's really great. If you guys want to do uh, renovations properly, you should really research this kind of stuff and make sure you're doing things safely because you can get hurt, your guys can get hurt, um, you want to avoid things like that. For sure. So thanks for having me on the channel. Thank you guys you. definitely want to follow Dwight. I'll put his uh, channel tag below in the description. Check out his uh, YouTube channel. There's a ton of great tips about construction, how to do certain things, how to lay floors, etc. Also guys, this is the second video in a three-part series we're, we're doing with Dwight. So the first video was on Matt McKeever's channel. Definitely go check out that video if you haven't already. And the third video will be on Jeff Weibo's channel. So that's the video. If you enjoyed it, if you learned anything, please click like right below. Again, don't forget to follow Dwight. I'll see you on the next video.